Now is the era of electric vehicles dominating the automotive industry, even pushing some traditional models off the market. But Toyota isn't fully on board. While the world prepares for engines to be banned in the future, Toyota is rising to the challenge, working to revolutionize combustion engines into a truly eco-friendly option for the masses. How will Toyota achieve this? Let's find out. Toyota's move. News is swirling about Toyota taking an unexpected turn, a move that some describe as an attempt to challenge EVs with a revolutionary new combustion engine. While that headline may sound like hype, it reflects a real discussion about whether advanced combustion technology could compete with electric vehicles. Toyota, known for pioneering hybrid technology, is testing the limits of what a traditional engine can do in today's eco-conscious world. The idea is to combine the reliability of combustion with modern innovations that boost fuel efficiency and cut emissions. Imagine the best of both worlds, the quick refueling and long range of gasoline, enhanced by precision technologies like advanced fuel injection, turbocharging, and even hybrid integration. In markets where charging infrastructure is still underdeveloped, such improvements could be a compelling alternative to EVs. This 2025 update reflects a broader trend in the industry. The future may not be a choice between electric and combustion, but a blend of multiple powertrain. Toyota's breakthrough could appeal to drivers who value convenience and performance, especially in regions where the EV transition is still ongoing. It's not about destroying EVs. It's about ensuring consumers have practical, efficient options no matter where they live or drive. Of course, headlines often exaggerate. Toyota's actual goal is likely not to eliminate EVs entirely, but to diversify its lineup in an increasingly competitive market. Governments and consumers are pushing for cleaner energy, so even the most advanced combustion engines must meet strict emission standards, something Toyota has been tackling through decades of hybrid innovation. Ultimately, this shows that the future of mobility may be more complex than a simple electric versus combustion debate. Whether Toyota's new engine revolutionizes the market remains to be seen, but it underscores an important truth. Innovation never stops. The quest for efficient, sustainable, and practical vehicles is far from over. Every breakthrough, whether in electric or combustion technology, brings us one step closer to a smarter, more diverse transportation future. The current situation. Toyota, the world's largest automaker, remains confident despite the EV boom. Its investment in hybrids and plug-in hybrids is paying off, particularly as EV sales slow in the West. Still, one division of Toyota refuses to abandon combustion engines until they are legally banned. Gazoo Racing, Toyota's performance arm. At a recent press conference in Australia, Tomoya Takahashi, president of Toyota Gazoo Racing, pushed back against the EV trend in performance cars. He said, We want to keep using internal combustion engines as long as we can. There may come a time when they're banned, but internal combustion engines aren't the problem carbon is. He added, we're investing in future engines. While many automakers set deadlines to phase out combustion engines, Toyota believes they still have a role in the future. Takahashi emphasized hybrid technology and carbon neutral fuels as key pathways. He noted, We're uncertain when full electrification will happen. Globally, there are talks that not all cars will go electric. No one can predict the next decade. Our approach is to have multiple pathways, not just EVs. This commitment extends beyond performance cars. Toyota also sees a future for diesel engines, particularly in utility vehicles. While an electric Hilux is on the horizon, Toyota is still exploring ways to keep diesel alive. Sean Hanley, Toyota Australia's sales and marketing chief, said, Diesel, despite what people say, is not dead. Still, Bans are coming. The UK, the European Union and California have set hard deadlines of 2035 to stop the sale of new combustion engine vehicles. Yet Toyota plans to continue selling them in markets where they remain legal. What are combustion engines? Combustion engines convert fuel into mechanical energy through controlled explosions inside the engine. Fuel and air mix in precise proportions, ignite and create force to push pistons connected to a crankshaft. That rotational motion drives the wheels of a car. This cycle intake, compression, combustion and exhaust repeats thousands of times per minute, powering the vehicle. Over the decades, combustion engines have evolved dramatically. Early versions were simple and inefficient, 
but modern engines use computer systems to optimize performance. Technologies like turbocharging, direct injection, and variable valve timing boost both power and efficiency while reducing emissions. Despite EV growth, combustion engines still play a critical role, offering quick refueling, long driving ranges, and reliable power, especially for high performance and heavy duty vehicles. They remain a testament to engineering innovation, and even as we transition to cleaner energy, they continue to evolve. EVs versus combustion engines. Electric vehicles and combustion engines each have strengths and weaknesses. EVs, zero tailpipe emissions, quieter and require less maintenance, environmentally friendly. If powered by renewable energy, combustion engines. Established, refueling infrastructure, quick refueling and strong performance, long history of reliability but higher emissions and maintenance needs. Cost also matters. EVs typically have higher upfront costs, but combustion cars can become expensive over time due to fuel and maintenance. If we understand it in simple language, then this technology is based on three big things, compact design, high efficiency, and an advanced cooling system. These three together make it different from other motors and help in giving more power to the vehicles in less space. First of all, let's talk about the compact design. Till now, most EV companies used to fit the motor, inverter, and gearbox separately. This not only took up more space, but also increased the weight of the car. But Toyota and Blue E Nexus changed the game. They put all three parts together in a single package and made it so small that it can easily fit in any vehicle. This simply means that engineers do not need much space, and designers get more space for batteries and other things inside the vehicle. This is why Toyota's new EVs nowadays look lighter, more spacious, and more flexible in design. Now let's come to high efficiency. The biggest problem with EVs has always been how to use the power coming out of the battery in a smart way. If the power is used more, the range will decrease and the car will have to be charged again and again. But the magic of e-axle is that it uses electricity very intelligently from the combination of motor and inverter. The inverter does not just change the current but controls that power in such a way that the motor can give more output even with less power. The result? The battery of the vehicle lasts longer and the driving range automatically increases. This is why Toyota claims that vehicles with e-axle can travel farther than EVs of other companies with the same battery capacity. Blue E Nexus e-axle is a pack in which the motor gives power, the inverter controls like the brain, and the gearbox transmits that power to the wheels properly. This is the reason why it is called a complete drive system and not just a motor. And this is the smart move of Toyota, which has the potential to make it a big player in the EV industry. The secret of the technology. Let us now understand in depth the secret of the special technology of Toyota. How does Blue E-Nexus e-axle work? And why is it being called the secret weapon of the EV world? 